Okay, on to part three of our five reaction sequence. In this reaction, we are going to be taking that copper two hydroxide and heating it to produce copper two oxide and water. Before we heat it, we're going to add about 50 milliliters of distilled water to the solution. When we're heating it, we're gonna lose some of our water due to evaporation, so we wanna just recover the loss in advance. Now we're gonna heat gently, stirring every couple minutes. Before this reacts, be sure you write your observations of the reactants. This heating step takes a while, so I'm gonna speed up the video. Okay, now that our reaction is complete, we're going to remove the beaker from the hot plate and allow it to cool and allow that solid to settle. Now you can record observations of the products of the reaction. Now we want to decant some of that liquid out, but we're gonna pour it through filter paper just in case some of that solid residue gets poured off. Decant just means pour off the top layer. Now we're going to take some distilled water and rinse that precipitate. We'll allow the mixture to settle and then decant it again. 